Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my progress on my Pan That palette. I honestly don't know what update number we are at right now. However, it has been about a month since the last time that I sat down and shared with you how my palette is looking. I am working on the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye palette if you're not familiar with this Pan That palette series. I have been working on this palette actually since last October and I chose it because it is all matte neutrals. I just felt like it could go with any and every look that I wanted to use or to create rather, any shadows that I wanted to use for my collection. And so far it definitely has been quite a journey. I am enjoying it. I'm still getting use out of the palette and I'm excited to share with you guys what it looks like in comparison to last month. So I'm gonna share with you on the screen right now what the palette was looking like last time I sat down and shared this palette with you so that we can compare. And here is what my palette is looking like today in comparison. So as you can see, I did end up rehitting pan on the shade Ludwin, this like peachy matte shade right here. I had repressed it, I think not last update, but the update before. And I'm really happy to see the pan on it again. There still is a decent amount of product in here. Um, I don't imagine that I'll be able to finish it up by the next update, but I am going to focus in and try to finish this product up in the next couple months for sure. And I have managed to expand the pan on this shade right here called Latest as well. That was one of my goals that I set for myself last update. And I'm really happy to see the amount of progress that I have made on that. Now, I will admit, I wanted to kind of multi-purpose this palette a little bit over this month, namely this shade and this shade right here. I really haven't used either of them in the ways that I kind of set out for myself. I mostly just use this to set down my eye primer or a concealer on my lid. I never really used this shade actually to brighten up under my eyes, nor did I use this shade whatsoever as a contour. Not even once did I try to contour since my last update of this project. However, I have been using this shadow through my brows, but today I decided to use this one right here through my brows, and I do think I'm gonna continue using that shadow instead. I feel like it's not quite as cool toned. It looks a little bit more on the neutral side, and I think that I can actually make some decent progress if I start using this through my brows. It'll be more like noticeable progress than this sh shade right here because um, this is quite a large pan and I feel like it never looks like it's changing, at least for me from day to day, it doesn't look like it changes. Now, last update, I did say I wanted to try to hit pan on these two deep shades right here, the black and that chocolatey brown kind of color. Of course, that is a long-term goal for me, so that is something that I am focusing on. However, I just am not really feeling like wearing dark, heavy looks. I never really feel like I'm interested in doing that because I have small hooded eyes and I feel like those kinds of looks definitely close off my eyes, make my eyes look even more small, smaller. But I am determined, I definitely am going to keep focusing on them. I am definitely going to be incorporating them into as many looks as I can and getting use out of them in as many ways as I can but that is definitely a longer term goal for me, as well as all of the deep shades. Those are things that are gonna take me quite some time. Now we are halfway through this year. I'm kind of getting nervous that I may not be able to make the progress on this palette that I was originally anticipating, but I'm happy to see as much progress as I have made. And I know that I'll be able to continue to make decent progress until the end of this year. Right before I sat down to film, I did weigh this palette and it's currently weighing in at 214.59 grams, which means that I have used up 0.81 grams of products since my last update. I am not maintaining my goal of using up one full gram of product, but I am on my way to that goal yet again, which I'm really impressed with. I am super happy to be able to say that because I was consistently able to use at least one gram earlier this year and at the end of last year because I had been wearing makeup more frequently. I was wearing makeup, you know, seven days a week, some weeks, and some days multiple times a day as well. So. I was using eyeshadow all the time, consistently, but my lifestyle has hugely changed and I know it has for a lot of us. I think the panning realm, everyone's panning reality has definitely changed quite a bit through current situations and I just am not using makeup at the same rate that I used to. That's something that I've definitely come to realize and I'm not going to be upset with myself about not being able to reach goals because I just don't feel inclined to wear makeup when I spend 
a lot of my time at home by myself and I just kind of need to let myself breathe and just allow my skin to breathe. It's been so hot. I haven't wanted to put makeup on my face. Even if I was leaving the house, it would be a little bit of a chore. But in no way am I disappointed with myself for seeing that number. I'm really proud of that number and I'm really happy when I look into this palette seeing how much product I have used, especially considering how like topsy-turvy this year has been. I'm not going to set myself any additional goals for this month. I just want to continue to use this shade right here called Latest. I really do want to try to use it as more of an under eye brightening sort of shade in conjunction with using it as a primer setting shade just so that I can get really great progress on it throughout the rest of the summer. Maybe I could even use it up this summer and that way I can move on to finishing this shade up as my primer setting shade come the fall and winter. And then I really just want to focus in on these two deeper shades and it will take some time, but I am really excited, really looking forward to making additional progress on this palette. But that is all I have to share with you guys today. If you guys are working on a pan that palette, please let me know how your progress has been over the last few months. I am so interested and curious to see how everybody is doing on their pan that palette and just general panning projects. But thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me. I hope that you guys are staying safe out there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.